Well, hello, friends, and welcome to the Million Dollar Message. This is Cadillac Sales Director Taylor Moore Faring calling in with your Wednesday wisdom from Charlotte, North Carolina. I am filling in today for a lifelong friend of mine, Jordan Eicher, and I'm so honored and excited to share with you today, friends, about being intentional, especially at this time in the Mary Kay Seminar year. But first, let me start by sharing a little bit of background on myself and a brief little eye story. So, I was born in that fabulous Mary Kay pink world and came up from the hospital in a pink Cadillac as my mother is the amazing senior national sales director emeriti now, Debbie Moore. I am so thankful to have grown up in Mary Kay, learning, oh my gosh, dreaming big, learning from my mom, thinking bigger, just soaring with confidence, adapting to positive thinking, teaching positive thinking, and just being around that amazing atmosphere as we have in Mary Kay in the pink bubble, setting high goals and expectations, learning people management, how to work with adults at a very young age, communication, watching the balance of my mom and dad beautifully display putting faith first, family second, and Mary Kay always third. Always with the utmost integrity and as a true boss babe, as my mom always did and soared with intentional grace style and just amazing work ethic. My mom's a true example for so many of us and still continues to be, and how to work the business like a business so that we can all live a wonderful lifestyle and work smarter and intentional, not harder. So I learned so many things from watching my mom, especially being intentional and all she did and how she ran her business and her life. And I can remember as a little girl every Sunday night sitting down strategically after dinner, after that great meal around the table, and planning out our week. You know, work your plan, as Mary Kay would always say, Plan your work, work your plan, work smart. And my mom always did. She had a color, colored pens and colored markers, and we all had a color. And we would fill in our sports and our activities on this big family calendar that we would then put into another calendar. And we all had these color-coded, you know, different activities, sports, school events, church events, Bible studies, everything on the calendar. And I can remember her always saying, my mom intentionally saying, you know, where would you like Dad and I to be this week? You know, what are the most important swim meets, golf tournaments, and just school activities um, to be at so that she could kind of outsource practices and work her Mary Kay business at those practice times where my dad and a nanny or other people, family members and adults could just be there in her absence so she could work smart and work her Mary Kay business in a smart way and be at the important events um, in our growing up kind of pivotal time. So I ask first, are we always intentional with our family planning and guarding our time? Woo, I can be even more intentional, right, as a mom of three. So flat, fast, flash forward, oh, my gosh, flash forward into my 18th birthday. And after watching my mom for years growing up, admiring her, walking in her heels, literally, and her mink coats and her rings and all those great things, lipstick on her lips, as my daughter now is, I signed my agreement went off to NC State. Springfield Mary Kay business and all I did, along with staying abroad, being very involved on campus and studies and working uh, major and a minor. I can remember not having to work because of my Mary Kay business through summer and Christmas breaks when all my other friends had to have jobs or second or third jobs. I love to be able to graduate, just enjoying and putting my intentions in the right um, direction, as my mom always did, just working smart. And after graduating, I took a first job and what would say – Oh, what would people people would say as the number one ad agency in the Southeast. However, in my books, it wasn't number one. You know, God placed a lot in his first five weeks, and I saw too much of un- so many unethical things happening internally with that agency and just things that I did not want my life to be surrounded with, nor my future husband and kids. And so it only took five weeks, yep, five weeks to realize I wanted to run coming home to say, Mom, I'm ready to work in Mary Kay business, and that's really all it took. So I started at 22, intentional, full-on, ready to roar, roar, ready to soar, and really just thinking, where do I start? Because my mom had all my friends and family. Oh, my gosh, who, who do I turn to? And at 22, I moved up very quickly and been blessed to have earned over seven cars. 16 years later, I cannot even believe I've been a director for over 15 years, and we have three wonderful kids, Davis, eight, Grant, who's six, and my princess, Ella Rose, little girl, who's three and a half. My husband has a very full plate as he has an incredible career in orthopedic, um, as an orthopedic surgeon, and has a very demanding schedule. So together we love our full and beautiful chaotic life. 
Can you relate to a full plate? Well, if you can, it is best to be intentional with your time and everything to kind of guard that and to work smart so that you can enjoy everything and have that great, beautiful, chaotic, but full life and enjoy all the fruits of it. So I ask, with only five days left to finish this month strong, the month of May strong, and 20 days, only 20 days left to finish your star strong, your star quarter that is, and 35 days left in our seminar year, what are you going to do different to get different results in your Mary Kay business, to get fabulous results in our finish? It's time to turn up the heat, ladies, and be intentional in finishing our race strong, the race that God has in store for all of us, the seminar year, and the race that's not done yet, with plenty of time to make amazing things happen, 35 days, in fact. What are you going to accomplish in the next five days to have an exciting May end, to have many wins in your Mary Kay business to finish the next five days strong. And how are you going to finish the seminar year so that you are excited and running through that finish line with your tongue hanging out and your pink tennies tied tight? I'm going to break down very quickly the word intentional, just kind of simple, six simple areas that I think if you're intentional in these areas, it really will help for a strong finish. You know, first let's just break it down. What does the word intentional really mean? Well, if you look at a textbook definition of the word intentional, it means done on purpose or deliberate. So we need to be deliberate in these categories. Number one, in finishing the seminar and May strong, your time. Number one is your time. What does your date book look like in the next five days or the next 35 days in our seminar year? What is holding you back or robbing you of your time that you're not able to devote to your Mary Kay business, meaning what is taken away from your Mary Kay time and your Mary Kay business? Are you volunteering for too many things, helping in all different ways, saying yes to everything instead of being strategic and saying yes to the things that are that count and that are important? You know, there are many hands, helping hands, that can fill those spots, especially for the next five days and for the next 35 total to finish this seminar year out. Someone can fill in, not forever, but maybe in the next 35 days so that you can have your huge win and your seminar finish, maybe finishing national courts of sales and recruiting, and maybe just picking up, oh, directors, your first bar pin, doing amazing things. So your time, number one, is intentional. It needs to be intentional, that is. Number two, your attitude. Choose joy every day. I hope you choose joy. I hope you attract people with your joy, your enthusiasm, your sparkle, What thoughts and silly ideas are you telling yourself? Are you telling stories to yourself? Are you speaking positive affirmations in in your life and into existence? Are you choosing a winning mindset? Are you feeding your mind with positive things, dialing in every day to this amazing, incredible gift of the million-dollar message that's right at our fingertips? Showing up on the director on your director's zooms and calls and supporting her and all she does and as she's doing for your unit. Reading positive things. You know, your attitude is your altitude in our business and in life, as my mom would always say. And as Romans 12, 2, one of my favorite verses says, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Pick up a great book. Feed your mind. You know, Mary Kay's autobiography is a great book. Start there. Read it again. Dust it off your shelf. Pull it off your shelf and read it. Or some of my favorites, I love Mark Batterson, the author of Circle Maker, and he has a book called Win the Day. Great book. Or one of my new favorites, Jenny Allen's Get Out of Your Head. But pick up something and feed your mind, number two. The third is be intentional with your personal time. Be intentional to have you time, to be still, to be quiet, and fill your cup up first in the morning so that you can give the best to everybody around you. Be the best you can be, shining your light in all you do so that you're attracting customers, that future hostess, that new team member that you're going to attract because you are filled up, you're confident to be able to pour into others. For me, with three active kids and flag football, two baseball teams, oh, my gosh, swim team, dance, and piano, I choose my personal time to be coffee and quiet time early morning at 6 a.m., sometimes 5.30 if I'm very intentional, sometimes not, sometimes 6, Um as I am becoming a morning person because I'm speaking that into existence for sure, but 6 a.m. is my go time, and that's time to be able to be quiet with the Lord and be able to fuel fuel up mom so that I can be the best mom when the little ones come down the stairs 30 minutes later. 
you know, choosing lunch break to workout time and finding time to have personal time so that I'm intentional with that so that I can, again, be the best I can be. You know, my day seems to be crazier the times that I don't fit it in. And I can't be the best wife, mother, Mary Kay sales director. Can you relate if you don't get those you times and personal times in? Always making sure that we have personal time and, of course, dressing for success with image, having your face on so that when you meet people in those crazy spots of running into Starbucks or Target or Walmart, you might be able to hand your card out with just integrity and confidence to know that your face is on and that beautiful new unlimited lip gloss is on your lips. A great conversational start with our new amazing summer products. Number four, intentional with your daily activity. Daily activity, be intentional, not to just think Mary Kay, but get into action every day to develop wonderful, sharp daily habits in your business. You know, bookings and eye care calls and holding X amount of parties and developing new customers. Working with, of course, our weekly plan sheet and six most important things are key, especially in the end of a seminar year. And, of course, the rainbow method, like my favorite home edit girls, do you know those home edit girls? that do rainbow method and all they do in organizing, planning your areas of your date book with color coding in your date book, every area like you time, kids time, family time, husband time, of course, pink Mary Kay time, and just being intentional with your daily activities. The fifth is surrounding yourself with positive people, and I know you know that, but being intentional always, especially at month end. Don't let others squash your May, May end goals. If you're far away, don't let someone say, be a naysayer and say that's not going to happen. You walk it out and run it out in the next couple of days. Seminar dreams, plenty of time to cross over that finish line, but you need to be intentional where and who you're listening to and always speaking up for wisdom and guidance. And lastly, number six, which we all know Mary Kay would always start and finish with, is dreaming. Dream more, worry less in this end of the seminar year. Be intentional to allow your dreams to be bigger, to be bold, to finish what you intended to start the seminar year, or even bigger and better and bolder. Now is the time to take the brakes off your dreams or to take that neutral posting off and set it into high gear. Wallpaper your house. Tell everybody, shout from the rooftop your goals and how you're going to finish May strong in your seminar dreams. Keep it in front of you every single day. Walk into that with full intentional winning mindset. Well, I hope those six little areas help um, kind of fuel your excitement to be disciplined and intentional in your behaviors as you finish, again, May Strong and a Bigger Boulder Seminar 2021 finish. 35 days. And as I always say to my children, my three kids, when they walk off the ball field, did you have fun and did you give it your best, buddy? So I asked friends, did you give it your best? And when I asked that at the end of 35 days, will you have given it your best? your best go, your biggest, everything you can, tongue out, running across that finish line to have a fabulous seminar finish that we can share you on and just applaud you for all your finishes. Be intentional and disciplined in these areas, and I promise it will and it will make a difference and will make a difference in your seminar year. Make it a winning day today, shining your light everywhere you go, and that's what I have. That's a wrap. Signing off from Charlotte, North Carolina. This is Taylor Moore Faring. Thanks, friends. Love you and God bless.